Welcome to Crotone Entertainment. I'm Chris, and Bree is not with us tonight. She is taking a sick day. I uh, don't know what came over Bree. She went and did a uh, jewelry show over the weekend, and she has been sick for the last several days. So that's been interesting in the house, but it's all good because we're here. We're doing Tabletop Tuesday while she's on the mend. Um, she's getting better day by day, and I finally have the opportunity once again to do something that I have not done for a very, very long long time um, since uh, honestly before COVID started and that is I get to set up a new game group again uh, I am super excited about this it has been way too long since I've had a regular gaming night uh, with a regular group of players um, it has been largely uh, intermittent gaming or playing games with Bree and Julian uh, and it's just going to be great to get out there and play some games again uh, so this all actually started um, a couple of months ago through Discord. I'm a member of the uh, the One Page Rules Discord, and there was a uh, looking for games um, sub Discord. I don't know what you call them on Discord. I'm too old to learn. Uh, but anyway, one of the subcategories um, looking for players. So I just threw up, you know, what general region uh, we were in, and nothing. Absolutely no responses. Didn't really expect there to be a lot. Didn't really think about it until several months later, uh, basically on the same day, I get three hits from people that are all relatively close to the area who are all willing to meet up at the same shop. Now, I've been meeting uh, somebody who I actually met through the One Page Rules Facebook um, yes, that is the only thing Facebook is useful for at this point is uh, hobby groups and uh, messenger app if you don't have somebody's uh, telephone contact, contact information. But um, met somebody through the One Page Rules Facebook and we've been meeting up intermittently to play games with One Page Rules. I have a buddy I've been playing games with for the better part of a decade who has largely been, um, largely been out of gaming. He'll pop in periodically to play a game with me. But he hasn't really been getting out and playing his own games. Um, but he is, uh, you know, seeing that we've got three people from just a bit north of here. The one person I've been meeting up with semi-regularly. Now he's all of a sudden back into it. So now I went from having a game group of uh, half a person to having uh, six people, including myself again. And we have our first session tomorrow night. So when you're setting up a new gaming group, um, I've done this a number of times in a number of different shops. Uh, I think it's important to to do a couple of things. Um, one, it's important to gatekeep correctly. Uh, I'm not a big fan of gatekeeping because most gatekeeping implies negativity. Um, but when I say gatekeeping correctly, we, we basically have a, a couple of main rules. Well, one main rule is Wheaton's Law is in effect. If you're not familiar with Wheaton's Law, go to wheatonslaw.com. Thank me later. Uh, it's a very simple set of rules to live by. And basically, if you can follow that rule, we're good. Uh, we're not going to tolerate anybody who comes in as a problem player. It's just not going to be a thing that we do. And we've been discussing on and off how many points we want to start with, what we want to do. Um, but I'm looking at the bigger picture. And the bigger picture to me is the full group rather than just getting together and play games with people. So I've started putting together uh, what I call my uh, new group setup kit. And the new group setup kit is made up of a couple of different things. Uh, first, it's made up of tables. We've agreed we're going to play one-page rules. The shop we're going to has tables. It has terrain, but the fantasy rules uh, terrain that it has is a little bit lacking, a little bit unimaginative, and I have a tremendous amount of terrain in my house. So I went ahead and packed up three boxes of terrain so I can set up three 4 by 4 tables, uh, one with kind of an icy theme, one with a abandoned ancient city theme, and one with a um, kind of dark gritty forest uh, sort of theme. So we're going to have three different tables that we can play off of uh, to start our gaming group. But of course, what we're going to need after that is we're going to need more players. So what I've went ahead and done is I went ahead and printed off a copy of the core one page rules. It's the very basic, here's how you get started rules for one page rules, you know, the one side double sided. And I printed off multiple copies. And I will be handing those out to anybody who expressed the slightest interest in what we're doing. We actually had a couple people last week um, when the uh, the one guy I've been playing with and I were playing a game. A couple people stopped by and said, hey, what are you playing? And we said, you know, we're playing One Page Rules Age of Fantasy. And, um, you know, a couple people said they were going to go check out the website for it. But you know what? I'm going to bring the rule sheet with me and I'm going to offer it to people. I'm going to say, hey, here's a rule sheet. Now, after that... Um, 
the next thing you're really going to need is the actual game kit itself. So I've gone ahead and built this game kit here. Now, this is going to start with a tape measure. Uh, set up in inches, really whatever measurement system you're using, what we did in inches. So this is the first thing that's going inside this uh, just quick game kit. We've got a four-sided die here because one page rules. The basic rules operates off a four-turn system. This will let you track your turns. Uh, we've got some wooden tokens here that are good objective tokens. Uh, you can have up to five in a game, so there are five here. Uh, there's a couple different sets of colored tokens here. One set is to do activations. One set is to represent fatigue on your units for when they've already fought in melee. And one set here is to represent when they are uh, wavered or panicked or whatever they call it these days. And there's five of each of those because you can have five units in a list. Um, we've also got a, th a three sided die there's only ones twos and threes on here so it's a d3 uh, so that's going to let you roll for your objective setup we've got five bigger dice uh, in red for blood to mark wounds on multi-wound models and i've got a set of dice 20 should be more than enough to uh get a game going i don't think anything's actually going to ever need that many dice at all in a 750 point game which is where we're we're starting off this new game group this is the second of those kits that i have built so i have one of those for myself and I have a second one of them, uh, and that uh, that's going along with what I call my uh, my game bible, and uh, we'll we'll go over that in a future video what the game bible actually is. But suffice to say, it's going to have what I need to let two people start playing one page rules. And I absolutely intend if somebody expresses interest at the shop and says, "Hey, that that looks kind of cool." I'm going to look him dead in the eye and say, hey man, you got 30 minutes to try a game because I got two armies here and I can let you play it real quick and you'll you'll learn the basics of it in under five minutes. It's it's that simple of a game. If they say yes, fantastic. I'm going to bust out a second army. I'm going to pull out my game kit and we're going to play a quick game. If they say no, man, I don't have time for that. Okay, that's cool too. Not an issue. Let me give you a copy of the one page rules. Rules and tell you, hey, we plan on being back uh, every Wednesday about this time, same bat time, same bat channel, and uh, we're going to be playing this game. Um, we've made the conscious decision to play uh, Age of Fantasy one-page rules, predominantly because two of the players... Oh, man. I got the yawns, and you guys know I won't edit that out. Um, predominantly because two of the players who are going to be in the game are fantasy players only. They don't play uh, Warhammer 40k or any sort of sci-fi equivalents. They just play um, fantasy-based games. So we decided as a group to start with Age of Fantasy, but the beautiful thing about One Page Rules uh, 3.1, which is where we're at in the rule setting at the moment, is I'm pretty sure we could cross-play them. Um, the core rules are 100% identical, and the point systems designed to calculate the armies are 100% identical. Uh, I'm pretty sure we could play a, uh, a Grimdark Future, versus an Age of Fantasy army and have a pretty balanced and fun game. And I'm going to try that at some point. Uh, we're not going to try that on week one because uh, this is going to be the first night that uh, all six of us are, are meeting. In fact, I, I know the most people out of this group so far and I know two of them. And there's going to be six people present, uh, myself included. So there's three people I haven't met. Uh, there's four people that the guy I've been meeting up with uh, has met and there for hasn't met and then there's four people that um, no five people I guess not four people because I'm one of the people four people that uh, my buddy who's been playing with me for ten years he hasn't met so it's going to be an exciting time we're getting a game group going um, this is something anybody can do um, I've preached a thousand times how if you've been following us because you're painting hero quest you're painting your uh, uh, Masters of the Universe or painting your Power Rangers, you can easily use those models in one-page rules. I have several videos about that very concept. If you are a Warhammer player, Age of Sigmar, uh, Ninth Age, uh, War Machine player, uh, 40k player, uh, Infinity player, uh, Kings of War player, literally any game out on the market, you can play in one-page rules. And frankly, you owe it to yourself to do it. And you owe it to yourself because it's free. It does not cost you anything to download the core rules and play a game of one page rules um, most of my cost you is you know 10 cents for the printer ink if you're the type of person who likes to uh, print out your lists but they're all very playable 
right off of the one forge or yeah the army forge army builder for one page rules you you owe it to yourself to give this game a try you owe it to yourself to go out to a local hobby stop uh, hobby shop meet up with a gaming group you owe it to yourself to consider being the guy who starts a gaming group you don't need to be the best player you don't need to be the most, most rules knowledgeable what you need to be is the most consistent most enthusiastic player who's always going to be there to teach people the game thanks for watching like and subscribe for more content hit the bell for notifications we'll see you next time guys